I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is why men care about a woman's sexual history. Most men on some level already understand the answer to this question. So this episode is specifically designed to help the women out there. Women, I imagine that the emphasis that men can put on your sexual history can feel somewhat baffling especially if we're talking about experiences that occurred before the man in your life even knew you. You might think, all oh, that is in the past. That was then and this is now and I'm here with you now. So really, what's the issue? Well, I'm here to explain what the issue is. But before I do so, please remember to like this episode and subscribe to this channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and it's a great way to help spread this message. So if you like what you're hearing, then please do the thing. Also, if you're thinking about going to grad school, then check out StellarGRE.com and use the coupon code PSYCH for 10% off all membership plans. So, why are men so concerned about what you did in the past sexually with other men? The answer is actually complex and multifaceted. There are two general components. Here's how we can begin to approach an understanding. Ladies. Have you ever had the experience, and I bet you have, of buying an expensive piece of clothing only to realize a week or two later that a discount code existed that could have gotten you 50% off the same item? When you learn about the existence of that code, how do you feel? Not very good, right? You may even have complained and try to get the company to retroactively honor the code after the purchase. I've seen many women do that. And why do you do that? Because learning about the discount code actually changes your perception of the item that you bought. Whereas two weeks ago, you were more or less happy to pay full price for that piece of clothing. Once you realize that you paid 100% more than you needed to, you can't look at the same item the same way again it's not nearly as attractive and desirable as it once was. Why? Because it turns out you didn't actually underpay for something valuable, you overpaid for something cheap. And that is not a good feeling. So what does this have to do with sexual history and relationships? Well, a number of things. First of all, you have to understand that broadly speaking, there is a sort of arms race between men and women in the sexual marketplace. In a highly simplified version, it breaks down like this. Men are trying to get as much sex as possible from women for the least amount of time, energy, and money. And women are trying to get as much time, energy, and money from men for the least amount of sex. This is obviously an oversimplification but there must be at least some truth to it because we typically don't see the roles reversed. So when a man is actually in a relationship with you, in that he's taking you out on dates and listening to your problems and meeting your family and taking you on trips and supporting you emotionally, in short, when he is heavily investing time, energy, and money into you, and then he learns that you fucked a guy that you met at a bar an hour ago and who ghosted you the next day, He's going to feel like you did when you found out about those discount codes. That is, he's going to feel like a total schmuck for overpaying for something that you were obviously willing to sell for a fraction of the price. And I guarantee that will change the way he perceives you forever. So that's one part of the answer. The second part of the answer of why men care about a woman's sexual history is even more pragmatic. In general, to determine how people actually feel, feel, it's far more accurate and reliable to examine what people do over and above what people say. The fact of the matter is that people can move their lips and say anything. They can say things like, I love you, or you're the best I've ever had, or I can't stop thinking about you. People can say whatever they want. And because of that, there's always the possibility of doubt as to whether or not the words actually reflect their felt experience and objective reality. Now, ladies, it's also true that you will do more in the bedroom with men you are more attracted to, with men you like more. 
When your attraction is high, you will make yourself more sexually available in every sense of those words, and you will willingly break the rules that you rigidly enforce for others. So if you put two and two together, you can see that learning about a woman's sexual history is a way for men to kind of confirm a woman's words with her actions and to determine how attracted to a woman, how attracted a woman actually is to them. Why? Because if a man finds out that you did other things sooner or more frequently than you did or do with him, the reasonable conclusion that he is going to draw is that you are not as attracted to him as you have been to other men in your past with whom you were willing and enthusiastic about doing those things. And this is also going to make him feel like a schmuck because it's going to make him feel like you are settling for him. That's the second part. And if you combine those two parts, the result is a man who now feels that he's paying twice as much for half as much, which is not a great place to be. How does this play out in my own personal life? Well, if I learn for whatever reason, that a woman is not willing to be more sexually open, available, and freaky with me than I know she's been with the guy that she has been most attracted to in the past, then I just conclude that the relationship is not worth my time. This is not because I think I'm entitled to those things. I appreciate that I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and some women will find me more attractive than others. That is perfectly fine. I conclude that the relationship is not worth my time because I only want to be in a relationship with women who feel like I'm the best she's ever had, with women who are extremely attracted to me, with women who are enthusiastic and excited about being there. That's the experience I'm looking for. And the best way for her to demonstrate that feeling is by doing things with me that she hasn't done with other men. Everything else is just lip service. What do you think? Did my explanation make sense? Please let me know in the comments below, and thank you for listening.